Hello there. Um, right, I just wanted to do a video about um, to show you some of the games that I've got. Now, this is going to be the first time I'm actually recording with my webcam, and it's not a great webcam, but it's okay. Um, I think I mentioned it in my last video. I'd, I'd blown the power pack from my camcorder to charge it up, so because um, my last video I used my digital camera, and this time I'm just using the webcam, so maybe the colour and um, it's not that great but I just wanted to show you some of the games I've picked up in the last couple of weeks because I've seem to have accumulated a massive amount of games and um, right let's get through here and I'll just try and get through it quick because there's loads of them um, the first lots of games I've got is um, I got for free in the PlayStation 1 games and they're from my father-in-law who um, does house removals and um, house clearances so you know I've asked me to keep an eye out for games and um, so I got these for free so I'm going to show you here first one here is Metal Gear Solid which I thought was Metal Gear Solid game but it's actually the um, special missions and you and it's you actually need this Metal Gear Solid game to play it which I've not got but you know I will pick up one of these days and um, so that's that um, Nuclear Strike and most of these, I think the majority of these are um, original, like original casings, and they're not the classic games, which is great, and they're in tremendous condition. Um, as you can see, they're all the black, well that's shine, but you can see that it's the black, the black backs to them. Yeah, that's Quake 2. Try to see it so it doesn't shine. Kind of weird, kind of using this webcam. Rainbow Six Lone Wolf. Right, this is Time Crisis Project Titan, but inside it's actually two of them, so it's actually got the first Time Crisis. So it's got two discs in it, so it's Time Crisis 1, which is just called Time Crisis, and Time Crisis Project Titan. Which I've not got a, a gun or nothing for, it. and you know I know they didn't, they didn't work great on the big, you know high definition tellies, but I've got an old telly upstairs. This one I was really excited about. It's got a big crack in this in here, but it's um, Final Fantasy VIII, and it's the original Final Fantasy VIII, in the sense it's not the platinum edition. You know it's got the, the you know the pictures on the front. And the black backs, but it's a four discs. But disc one is missing, um, which is a bit of a bummer. You know, if it had been maybe disc four or whatever three, I could have had a wee shock. I've never played this before, and um, so I'm going to have to look out for disc one. And I did see one on eBay going a wee while ago, and it went for eight pound, and it was the version with the picture. Um, but nobody's will get one eventually. The next one is Micro Machines V3. Gauntlet Legends. Um, this is a um, Mortal Kombat Mortal Kombat trilogy. Uh, Dance Evolution no Dance Stage Euromix. And FIFA two thousand. Right, so that was my free games. The next games I got for the these are brand new games, which I got for the Nintendo Wii. And I managed to pick these up cheap I think Argos is I got two of them, another one was from play.com. I've got Trauma Center, New Blood. That's better by Stanley Barney. I've got Bully, Scholarship Edition, which I've actually had a wee shot at, it's really, really good. And that's done by Rockstar, eh? so that's even done Grand Theft Auto. And I just picked this up the other day, and it's been one of the best games for the Wii. I've not played it yet, and, that, and I'm looking forward to it, and that's all Kami. I've I'm started to, um, well, I'm trying to get my, hard, my hand on Game Boy Advance games, but with the boxes, and especially the Lord of the Rings. Because I managed to pick up two, and these are in beautiful condition, the boxes. And I've got the two towers. And I've got Return of the King. So obviously I'm looking for the first one. I'm also 
I'm a big Harry Potter fan, I try to collect Harry Potter games, the boxes, I know the games aren't that great, but I'm a huge Harry Potter fan, so I've got the Goblet of Fire, which is um, still sealed, and I'm just going to leave it sealed, I'm not going to open that. And I got this other day, and that's the Prisoner of Azkaban, which again picked up cheap, but there's no instructions, and the guy never said there was no instructions, that the box is in beautiful condition. And I fancy this, the box isn't in great condition, but it's Sonic Adventure, and it's a great game. Um, I managed to collect my entire Lord of the Rings collection for the PlayStation 2. Which I'm really chuffed a bit. I think I've shown one in before, but I just thought I'd show the entire collection. So that is the original, um, official, I should say, Fellowship. Fellowship of the Ring. Official game of Two Towers. Official game of Tongue of the King. And uh, I want to click them all. Lord of the Rings games for the PlayStation 2, and I believe this is in them all because um, I picked up the third age. And then when I was looking, I noticed that there was a, a game called The Hobbit, and I didn't even think that was a you know, I know it was made by a different company, and um, but it does actually say down here it's an official game, but it's based on the, the works of uh, Tolkien. So, um, and I've not played this, but it's, it's The Hobbit. So I'm quite, I'm quite pleased with that because that, you know, that's five, you know, and it's Lord of the Rings, so I'm quite happy with that collection. Right, and um, the rest are here <coughs> at GameCube because I'm a big Nintendo fan. I'm trying to get my hands on all the Nintendo games. Right, I was after these two for a while and I managed to get them. <coughs> Rogue Squadron 2 and Rogue Squadron 3. And I was after these for a while and I wasn't wanting to pay loads of money for them. You know, and I had it in my, my mind how much I wanted to pay. You know, I wanted to pay, you know, £3.33. And I did manage to get one of them for, you know, £3.20 and the other one for £3.70. This game is classed as one of the best games of how do we shot it. And it's Internal Darkness. And it is, looks really, really good. Metroid Prime. Or Met Metroid. Looking to pick up the second one of that. I've played that and I've played that and it's good. Star Fox, Star Fox Adventures. I've not played that yet. But I will get around to it. I mean and these I mean I've picked these up cheap. You know, I'm not paying any more than, you know, four pound. Um ISS2 is a big you know big Pro Evo fan. I'll probably do a video on Pro Evo and you know, because I played it for the very first one, but I managed to pick up this for you know a pound four or something it was. I'm trying to collect all the Sonic games for the GameCube, and I've managed. I've got two already, and I, then I managed to get this one. This was the Mega Collection. So I'm really chuffed about that. I had to pay a bit more more for that, but you know, it's got all the the games or seven games plus. It says got extras. So I don't know what the extras are. Um, picked this up dead cheap as well, and it looked okay. I've not played it yet. Sell damage. And I saw these two up, and they were finishing really soon, and I got them really cheap, and I thought, well, why not buy the two of them and start a wee collection? Because I seem to do that, if I get, uh, you know, a game, in a series game, I'll try and collect the whole collection, you know, like I did with Sonic. I bought a couple of games of Sonic, and um, anyway, I'm, I looked and see how many Sonic games I had, I'm going to try and get them all for the GameCube, you know, and, um, and I don't particularly like think these games are great, but I, d I saw them up and I got them dead cheap. And it's 007 and that's Agent Under Fire and um, Nightfire. Nightfire? Yeah. And I'll have a look and see what other James Bond games are out for the GameCube. And I'll try and get them so I've got the entire collection. So that's the end of that collection, which is quite a lot of uh, accumulated over the last couple of weeks. Um, and that obviously doesn't include the my other videos, but you know, Nintendo 64 and the games I've got for that. And I've still got more games coming. Fine. And um, before I go, I just want to mention Luke Morse 1 and, um, you know, just our thoughts go to him. Thank you again. Cheers.